What's up everybody? It's Chris from Ground to Beef. Whoa. Um just out here today for the Airbnb uh, at the farm. And I'm trying to straighten these posts out so we can get that ready and staged for pictures. Uh, we put in a uh, we set up the stock tank pool. So I had to walk down there. And, uh, you know, it takes me away from what I'm doing. And it, it just frustrates me. We've had so many issues with golfers down there. Because um, right on the other side of those trees is the golf course. And it makes me so mad because there's so many balls down there. And we put the new fence up, so we haven't had any issues, luckily. But today there was people down there. And... I saw one dude down there, so I went down there, and as I get up to the top of the hill, right here, there's a whole pile of people down there. So, you know, I'm trying to be a different person. I'm not trying to be such a jerk, but, like, dude, you're taking me away from everything that I'm doing because you're down here. You're not supposed to be over here. So I get down there, and they scatter like, like flies. And I yelled to them, and they stopped. <laughs> Which, they could have been long gone, man. I couldn't catch them. So, I mean, I, I'm pretty quick, but, you know, I was pretty winded by the time I got down there. So, they stopped, which I respect that. And as I got closer, they were kids. Like, they were teenagers, and they were out collecting golf balls. Like, because I was like, how did you get under, how did you get a, over here i got the fence so high and low to the ground well they're kids they can crawl under that so i just i told them you know because they were kids and they were out here doing something with their life like they're not sitting in front of games and you know they could be doing something stupid so i i uh, i let them go you know i just talked to them and i let them go and that's that's what I did. So it was frustrating. I lost my breath, but it was good for me to get the exercise. So um, I let them go. They were good kids. I told them, I said, you could stay here. Just, <laughs> just clean up the rest of the balls before you leave. Like, I don't want them over here. So um, that's what I did. I came back up here. My family was all out here. They all laughed at me. <laughs> they were making jokes because the goat followed me down there. And the goat was like, uh oh, the farmer, the farmer, we haven't seen this, the farmer this mad since 2015. So they were get, they were making fun of me, which is fine. I love it. So that's what's going on today. It's just really nice. Tomorrow's going to be 70, and the next day is going to be like 68. So I'm going to go do some more concrete work at the stone house. Uh, and finish that back wall. Anybody that follows me, first off, I appreciate that. I've hit 10,000 views. That's that's amazing. I never thought I would hit 10,000 views. I never thought I would hit 10 views. I'm just doing these videos so that my grandkids can see what their grandfather has done, you know, over his life, and you know, tell my story. That's that's what the videos are mostly about, and it helps people wake up. You know, and these, here, I'll show you. These posts I'm putting in, you know, uh, I'm not concreting them in. I'm just tamping the dirt in there. It's a lot of clay. I'm just tamping the dirt down in there. Because with this being a side hustle, like, I don't know where it's going to take us. I mean, we might do great, and we have it for five or ten years. Okay, it might be a flop, and we, or we take, take the money from this side hustle and we roll it into a bigger side hustle that will make more money. And, you know, then I can just pull these posts out and we have a yard back again. I don't want to look at a fence. Like, that's why I live out in the country. But I don't mind looking at the fence to create an environment for people to come here and learn. And learn where their food comes from. Learn how cows, you know, uh, are moved. Learn learn that cows aren't always mean learn that uh just because cows have horns 
they're not bulls. Like everybody thinks they have horns, they're bulls. No, females can have horns too. It's just get back in touch with farms and know where your food comes from. That's 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 the sole purpose of this one. And to make money, obviously, but it's something I enjoy. That's what you should be doing is side hustles that you enjoy. Like if you're into fishing, start up fishing shop or or start something related to fishing. Buy and sell stuff if you know it's it's a good price at a garage sale and, and take and flip it on whatever, <coughs> Etsy, eBay, whatever. Um, so I'm doing this to show people the animals. And, you know, um, that's what I'm doing. But this is not permanent. Like, I know this isn't permanent. Like, so when, when we don't want to do this anymore or, you know, it kind of dries up or we want to move into something different, we have a different idea, we can take all this out fairly easily. It's not concreted in there. And move to the next hustle. So that's all I'm saying. Like, you know, we're hustling. We're side hustling. So I can take advantage of big opportunities that are coming up in a couple years. You know, you see on the news all these layoffs every single day now. I'm getting hammered on the news with layoffs. Xerox is laying off this. And Amazon's laying off there. And, you know... UPS is laying off thousands of people and FedEx and blah 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 all over well I'm gonna take advantage of that people that are not prepared for this I, I don't mean to be a big fat jerk like I'm telling you to wake up and do side hustles now is not the time to be sitting on a couch watching your favorite TV shows like now is the time to hustle man because you don't know if your job's gonna go away like at least that way you have some kind of backup to so you're not out a job for very long or you're not out money and you don't lose your house and like i'm trying to wake people up we all are this whole community of ninja nation is trying to wake up everybody but there are going to be people that laugh at us and that's fine like that's fine but i'm i'm gonna take advantage of this collapse i've never been on this side of the collapse where i can see it coming but every 100 years is a big cycle. 100 years ago, there was a flu. And 100 years ago, there was a Great Depression. So history repeats itself. So the further you can see in the, be in, in the past is the further you can see in the future. So that's what I'm learning. I'm learning all these cycles. And learning about side hustles and learning how to start take a side hustle and turn it into a business and you know if if you're into that go watch the economic ninja or the real estate ninja he has amazing classes that you can buy and they're not that expensive they're two three hundred bucks but there's so much value in that man and then sit and watch it and there's a money back guarantee on there too so if you don't like it i think it's if you don't watch more than half of it and it's not for you he'll give you your money back like it's there's nothing to lose there's everything to gain so with that i'm gonna wrap it up i'm getting a little chilly and i'm gonna go in and sit on the couch <laughs> i only sit on the couch on sunday evenings and during the week like after 7 30 or 8 o'clock like i work from five or six in the morning till late at night now because uh, we're coming into summer. Daylight savings time is next week. And it's time to hustle, man. I'm going to have time at my cottage with a lake, with a boat, like, in a few years. And then I can relax. And even then, I probably won't relax. But it's important to relax. I'm not telling you don't ever do that. Like, you need a vacation. You need all that. So you need time with your family. But that being said, I'm going to wrap it up. Go sit on the couch, and I will see you hopefully tomorrow at the Stone House. Get to know a farmer.